welcome to another episode of St. Vincent Untold Stories. On this episode, we look at the five most controversial judgments that ever went on in St. Vincent. Big ups to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wish to see more videos like these. And number five. Man charged for eating cousin's fowl. When I say fowl, I'm not talking about the white ones that you normally rail in the pen for meat and eggs. I'm talking about the little ones running around the yard. The one them that eat anything. Even if they do so, tah, them pick that up and eat that. <coughs> Allegations are that the owner for the fowl them did their yard asleep and the man they don't strip them down and put them in the fridge. So it was chief fowl. So when the cousin come they now, I call the brother. The man go in at the man fridge and take the fowl. When the man take the fowl now, the man of them go down the street and cook the pot and not leave no food give the man. So the man got vexed and the man was stationed and the man went to the magisterial court. And the magistrate charged the man $60. Everybody was saying that was too much. Because it has some brown fowls out here every time they don't lay. Them charged $5 for them on the street. So how could that judgment be okay? Uh, well, the magistrate said that the man cooked the man fall and never leave a bone give the man. So he might charge him. Tell me what you think about this judgment in the comment section. Is $60 okay for one of them fowl that run around the place and eat all kind of mess up thing? Number 4. Man charged for stealing Dasheen. For all my international subscribers, Dasheen is a ground provision similar to the yams and the potatoes, but it does not grow on vines. Allegations are that Stanley Andrews, a resident of Vermont, went and stole some dashin from a farmer. Those dashin amounted to $10. Vermont is a village located on the leeward side of the island. The magistrate gave Stanley a three month jail sentence. Do you think that sentence is too harsh? Three months for $10 worth of dashin? Tell me what you think in the comment section, man. Number three, man charged for stealing six bottles of liquor on his birthday. Allegations are that Orlando Noel started out his birthday drinking a bottle of liquor, but he got intoxicated and he went into a popular supermarket in Kingston, Kingston which is the capital of St. Vincent, and he stole six bottles of liquor. When they asked him what he did with some, he said that he already got rid of most of the alcohol. Orlando was jailed for six months. Tell me if you think that sentence was too harsh. Six months, six bottles of liquor. Is it enough or is it too much? And number two, a man charged for walking out of taxi without paying. Allegations are that the man did ask the conductor for a ride and the conductor said yes. But when he reached to the location, the driver said he wanted a dollar. The driver came out after the accused and a scuffle took place. It is said that the defendant Smashed out the rearview mirror. So the magistrate charged him for the rearview mirror and not paying the dollar. So the magistrate charged Jevan Williams $300 for not paying the dollar and for damaging the rearview mirror. Tell me if you think that sentence is too harsh. Because in tongue, one piece of glass costs $10 and it was just a dollar for the passage. Tell me what you think in the comment section. And number one, a man charged for stealing four bags of garlic. It is said that Colin Williams, a resident of Georgetown, went to a popular mini-mart and put his hand through a window and took out four bags of garlic. At the same time, while he was stealing the garlic, a police saw him and called out to him and arrested him. During the caution statement, the man said that he stole the garlic to season Chichi. Remember what I told you Chichi was? One of the most delicious fish in the world. Uh, the equivalent for four bags of garlic is $20. $5 per bag. Who knows mathematics knows that 5 times 4 equals 20. Colin was given a 6 months prison term for stealing the 6 bags of garlic. 
If you think that was too harsh, tell me what you think in the comment section. Let me explain something now. When we talk about rehabilitation in St. Vincent, we don't have rehabilitation here. Eh? That's why we have so many repeat offenders. Eh, these are my honest opinions now, eh? So please bear with me. You see the man who took the foul? I believe that punishment was too harsh because they normally sell those white fouls. For like five dollars per pound. And that wasn't even a white foul. That was a yard foul. Think a man just throw a road. So you see. He should have been made to pay the price of a white foul. Say for example five dollars a pound. He went and by a six pound foul. It would have been like thirty dollars. And that would have been just. But when you charge a man sixty dollars for a foul. It costs twenty, twenty five, thirty dollars. It's too much. You see the man who stole the dash in. He shouldn't have gotten any jail time. Or any community service or anything like that. The magistrate should have granted the farmer's permission to walk him out for two weeks. Show him how hard farmers does have to work for their produce. That you call rehabilitation. I better if he do all them weed in there for like two weeks straight. Him now go back, they go thief again. And you add some extra punishment. You say, look here, no long sleeve in the dashing field. Make him get some scratch. Make him know what time it is. You see the man who stole the alcohol. I think that judgment was fair because he got a slap on the wrist. Six months for six bottles of alcohol. That was light. That was not a harsh punishment. Uh, the youth who jumped out of the van and didn't pay the dollar. A damn youth they sent by community service. Because you know, he's a dollar in a thief. He walk out a man van. So you have to wait the man with the van. Walk him out back and we wash down the van for like a whole week. Make him feel the penalty. And him pay back for the mirror. It was too much still. When you send a man behind bars for three months. For stealing ten dollars worth of dashing. You send him go near down taxpayer money. You send the boy and they go sleep. Go near pie and bread and all kind of thing man. People said that the one who stole the garlic was a repeat offender. Some people said they would have paid for the garlic for him because it was only $20. A woman said if I let him go in a planting field him run with everything. You see in St. Vincent, when a man is stealing on a regular, it means that he's under some type of substance abuse. So what do you do? You rehabilitate that man. You send him in a program. You just send him to jail. When him come out, him got teeth again. Come out and next time, teeth again. And the cycle repeats itself. You need to know how to handle these set of people. Instead of always sending a man to a jail for a petty crime, you have to loan the man. You have to try to get him away from the substance. If he is in jail and there is no program that deals with substance abuse, how would he get away from that substance? I told you before, I had a friend who used to steal a lot. And sticky, like when catch a random rat. I saw the man being bad. You know, they sent him to the Liberty Lodge Boys Center. You know what was the youth problem? He wasn't eating properly. He couldn't get three square meals per day. So he had to go out and steal in order to sustain his habit of eating. But when he went to the Liberty Large Boys Center, he had all the food in the world he wanted. You know what St. Vincent needs? We need a boot camp. So everybody, you know, send everybody a prison, send some man wrong by boot camp. And when them work hard, them come out at the early. So him and them work and them rehabilitate themselves in the process. But we put all of them with serious criminal. Them I want to do a serious criminal do and go back to them bad habits. Come on. I know that the prisons have workshop. But when the prisoners leave the prison with their skills, can they buy stuff like the late? Expensive machineries like that? Are they provided with funding to get these machines? What are they going to do? Who are going to employ them when they come out of prison? We need to look at all these things. Uh, what we need is a factory that make furniture, etc. So when the prisoners come out and people don't want to hire them, they are sure of getting a job so that they could provide for their kids. Otherwise, they would be repeat offenders again, become and come out of jail. Uno idiot. A man come out of jail. Mrs. now I employ him. Mr. now I employ him because he have a criminal record. And according to the criminal record, like things like murder and rape, he might never get a job in society. So the only thing he can look for do again is crime, criminal activity. Think outside the box. Every time they want to make things look good, talking about rehabilitation program. St. Vincent does not have a rehabilitation program. 
please remember to like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wish to see more videos like these to all those who have been making comparisons to St. Vincent and told stories and other channel, we are around since 2017 doing vlogging on Facebook. Only mean we have transitioned and now to YouTube. Look at the pages you are making comparisons with. Some of them are only one year old. Some of them are only months. You see? So we were around before them. So don't make that comparison, please. St. Vincent and told stories. It's about the people and we are for the people. So we had to talk the truth. I want to send a special shout out to Boston Nikki. A friend told me early on that you are always locked onto the program. I know you do things like Tombstone and thing, and we are about promoting small businesses. I will drop my agent's number in the comment section.